And so what's up, y'all? Look, there's been some rumors here that's going around, too, talking about the Miami Heat possibly trading for Brandon Ingram. Now, before I even discuss about if they should do it, if they shouldn't, you got to keep in mind. One, this is a team. They've been to the playoffs. They've been to the finals, as a matter of fact. They've been to the finals two times in the past five years, and they haven't really achieved that ultimate success of actually winning. And, you know, I, I've been saying for some time, I'm on the record. You can go back and listen to it. I've been telling people time after time, okay, well, you know, Tyler Hero, he's, he was hurt. He wasn't able to be fully healthy and actually help the Miami Heat. Okay, that's an excuse there want. All right, Bam Adebayo, he's got to be a little bit better, help Jimmy Butler, and that's number two excuse. At this point, I don't have any more excuses for you. Bam has already developed to a point where he's better than most people at his position. You can consider Bam Adebayo a top forward at his position if you really want to go there because statistically he can go there, defensively he can go there, and offensively He's shown in his game that he's expanded to a point where the team can actually rely on him from an offensive focus. Now, however, even though they have Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler, who was there half of the time, who was injured a lot this, this previous season and also in the playoffs, which hurt them. They still need that third piece. Many people consider Tyler Hero to be that third piece for the Miami Heat, but he just so happens to not be there. Now, I personally, I think Tyler Hero is good. First of all, I don't want anybody to sit here and be, you know, get the wrong idea that I'm saying Tyler Hero is not a good player or he can't help the Heat. However, we know the kind of value he has. You don't want to hold on to a guy until his value diminishes. We've seen Atlanta Hawks do that with Trey Young, and now a lot of people don't really want him. We've seen that happen to multiple guys over the past season as well where teams don't really want them anymore. Phoenix Suns, Kevin Durant, his value isn't as high. I mean, Lonzo Ball, the Chicago Bulls can't get rid of him right now. Zach Levine, the Chicago Bulls can't get rid of him right now. A lot of guys in the league, when they're at their peak, that's when you really want to get rid of them. But if you hold on to them too long, just like the Miami Heat are doing with Tyler Hero, you may not be able to find a trade for them at all. So you want to get rid of them while he has the high trade value. And now the question lies, is Brandon Ingram the right guy to bring in if you're going to be getting rid of Tyler Hero? I think so. I think, I, I think Brandon Ingram could be a good piece. He could be a good help. However... Honestly, on the floor, Brandon Ingram looks a little soft. He's not as aggressive as we would like him to be with the scoring ability that he has. Could he help the Miami Heat? Absolutely. Of course. Can Jimmy Butler possibly give him a little bit of the dog that he got in him to help Brandon Ingram? Possibly. But above all, you want to package that deal. I don't think I would do a straight head up. Um, above all... There's other guys out there I would try to target outside of Brandon Ingram. But if I received a trade offer for Brandon Ingram to Tyler Hero, it would be tough for me to consider to just do it straight up person for person. But I would I would kind of want to trickle in maybe some picks to get another player or at least give me another shooter in there because Tyler Hero, if anything, you know he's a pure shooter that can knock down some threes. But Brandon Ingram, that's a solid, that's a solid take. I, I would definitely love to pick him up for the Miami Heat, and he could be a huge help. He could be a huge help. So ultimately, Miami Heat has to make some sort of changes to add value to this roster. Everybody else in the East has gotten better over the past year, past year and a half. You see people getting healthy and add more power to what they already have on their core team. Miami Heat has to do the same exact thing because the back-to-back -back free agencies, they ain't did nothing. We ain't seen them make any moves that were really going to change that franchise around or change that team around to put them over the hump to actually win the championship this time.